Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing a demo video of the brand new primer from Supergoop. This is their Unseen Sunscreen Primer. It does have an SPF 40. They sent me this recently and I was very intrigued by it. You guys know I am a huge advocate of having sunscare. Sunscare. <laughs> You guys know that I think having sunscreen as part of your daily skincare routine is incredibly important. And I'm always looking for different products I can try with sunscreen that won't disrupt my makeup. I think that's the biggest reason why people don't use sunscreen day to day is it messes with your makeup a lot of the time. Supergoop is cruelty free. They have so many vegan options. In fact, they actually list what's not vegan on their FAQ because most of their products are. So this primer claims to smooth out your pores, create a really nice base for makeup and create a base that makeup will last on without pilling as well. I was very, very intrigued to see if it actually lived up to the claims. I've tried so many sunscreens that say they work well under makeup and the vast majority do not. I'm sure you guys are in the same boat. So if you're curious about this primer, just keep watching. So I did already do the rest of my skincare routine. I moisturized, I used a serum, things like that. And you're supposed to apply this like any primer after your skincare routine and before your makeup. It says to apply a dime size amount. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is very gel-like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just with my fingers. It doesn't feel slinky like a silicone primer, but it feels, it feels very much like a gel. It doesn't have too much of a smell. The scent isn't strong, but it does smell like sunscreen, but I think that will dissipate. And since it does claim to smooth the appearance of pores as well as give you a soft finish, I wanna look at this up close now that it's just the primer to see if I'm noticing any sort of difference. It did apply very smoothly. It felt really nice going on. It feels like a good moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a silicone primer or anything like that. It feels very nice. So that did actually blur out a lot of my pores. So I have pores like here and on my nose and I feel like it, it did a decent job blurring them. It didn't do as much as like the blurring primer by Cover FX, but I am actually really surprised by this. It definitely smoothed things out. It makes my skin look a little more even, much more so than I was expecting. Okay, so that is impressive. I was not expecting that at all, just to be totally honest with you guys, but I'm really happy that it did seem to smooth out my pores. I'm very impressed. And honestly, it feels like the longer it's sitting, the more it's smoothing out the appearance too. That is really, really interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to use the Photo Focus from Wet n Wild. This is a foundation I've used so many times. I do have a demo video on it and it was in my 2017 Makeup Favorites. I'll link to both of those videos down below. I'm gonna go ahead and dot a couple of drops on my face and then blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Because this is a foundation I'm very familiar with, that's why I wanted to use it today. I know how this foundation works. I've used it with a ton of different primers. I'm very familiar with it. So I wanted to test it with this primer to see if it applies any differently or better or worse or just if there are any differences in the application. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and look at it close up and see if it changed the application or anything like that. So this primer is actually doing a really good job of smoothing out my skin. I'm noticing definitely where I have those pores. A lot of times with this foundation, with other primers, if it's not a blurring primer, you can still see those pores. It kind of sinks in a little bit. It's one of my problem areas. But with this Super Goop primer, it's actually very, very smooth. It's looking really, really good. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more where I want a little bit more coverage and see how it works with building up the product. But it's not sticking anywhere. It does feel very, very moisturizing underneath, which I personally really appreciate. And I don't feel like it's impacting how the foundation applies at all. So with the second layer, that's still looking really, really nice, very, very smooth. I am really impressed with this so far. So it does feel moisturizing, but I feel like in some of my drier areas, it's not totally smoothing it out, but there's also only so much that a primer can do. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I wanna let this sit on my face a little bit longer, see how other things apply on top of it, and then see how it looks. I finished up the rest of my makeup. I did also use their Defense Refresh Setting Mist, which is a broad spectrum SPF 50. It worked really nicely as a setting mist, and this is a really good way to touch up your sunscreen throughout the day. They do also make a powder sunscreen too that I think you could use, I haven't used it, so I can't vouch for it, 
but this seemed to do really well on the makeup. I will say that during the application, things went very smoothly. My skin does feel very hydrated underneath. It feels like there's a nice thick moisturizer layer on and primers typically don't feel like that. I have skin that is more on the dry side, so I personally really enjoy that. I'm not sure how it would work on oily skin for that reason. I am gonna look at it close up again because now that I've applied everything else, I want to see if this primer is impacting the application, if it still looks good, if it looks terrible. This is still looking really nice. My skin looks very smooth. Like I said, the areas where it's kind of problematic and where I have pores, you can't really see them. I feel like the makeup is laying very well. It all blended out really well. I am honestly really impressed by this. I think it is definitely worth picking up. I think again, and I know I've said this in a lot of videos, I think we all need to do what we can to be preventative with our skincare and making sure that you use SPF daily is so, so important, especially on your face. So this is a really good way to get it into your skincare routine. I do also really enjoy the primer from Kipris as well, which is an SPF 30. I am probably gonna follow up this later with a mini review on Instagram, kind of talking about how it worked throughout the day. So I'm sure that will be up before this video. I'll link to that down below so you guys can get my feedback on just kind of how my makeup wore throughout the day using this primer. Honestly, my initial first impressions are that I'm really impressed. I think it's about time that a sunscreen brand made a product like this. I think more sunscreen brands need to get into skincare. I think that is like the next natural step and I love seeing products like this out there. I'll link to a couple of my other favorites down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.